The press conference by the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency is aimed at outlining strategies of the agency to provide accessible, affordable, and quality healthcare services for Nigerians. In his comment, the Executive Director, NPHCDA, Dr. Mui Aino, highlights the plans of the agency to expand the current 8,300 functional PHCs in the country to 17,600. He says those that have been identified to have zero vaccine will be reached. Right now we have 8,300 that are being funded directly as part of the basic health care provision funds. The government uh, has committed to doubling that number over the next four years to about 17,600 functional facilities. Now the doubling will be done in a strategic way which is really based on need. So while we are solving to have one functional facility per ward, the choice of the second one will not necessarily follow two per ward because some wards need more, some wards need less, based on disease burdens, but also based on population. So Dr. Aino assures that PHCs in the country will begin to have more skilled personnel with ultra-modern medical equipment. Really working to make them fully functional. Fully functional meaning they have what they need to provide quality services. They have the workforce, they have the commodities, they, are, they receive technical assistance to make good use of the resources that they are getting through the decentralized facility financing. And they have all of the other input equipment and the infrastructure, including accommodation for the health frontline health workers that are working in them. In addition to that, we're going to be investing quite a bit in a, developing a framework to produce, uh, equip, and retain frontline health workers at the health facility. The agency assures that Nigeria will introduce malaria vaccine before the year runs out. Joseph Kadri, ITV News.